Hi, this is Patricia with BrightTimes.org and Unscripted in the Direction, and we're here with Jacob. Is it Appel or Appel? Appel. Appel. And Jason's from New York, and he has written some really great books, and he's going to tell you a little bit about it. So tell me about the Mask of Sanity. Sure. Um, I'm a psychiatrist by profession, so I hear the most amazing things every day in my office, and I can't share them with anybody. So... I was sort of inspired to write a book about psychiatry, and I thought, what did I want to write about? I really wanted to write about sociopaths. Um, so this is a book about a high-functioning sociopath. We usually associate sociopathy with low-functioning people, with people who um, are outside our world of normal social interaction. But in this case, this is a very high-functioning sociopath. He's a cardiologist at a prestigious hospital, and he discovers one day that his wife is having an extramarital affair. So not only does he set out to kill the man his wife is having an affair with, but he decides to disguise the crime as a serial killing and has to kill six other random people along the way. So... I think the book is a good window into not just the lives of this particular doctor, but the wide range of very high-functioning people. You could think of Bernie Madoff, for example, who present themselves one way to the world, but really have evil lurking in their heart. And that's what's sort of Sherlock Holmes, because Sherlock Holmes in the books in the series are, is a high-functioning subject. Is there anything that's actually in that, like in those programs, where they portray those characteristics? But it's actually real, or is it very different? From it's very different. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes is probably not really a sociopath. Sherlock Holmes is simply someone who is somewhat irreverent about the social norms of society. Um, it is hard to imagine Sherlock Holmes killing six random strangers for self-interest. Right, but a sociopath, on the other hand, would, could possibly do that. Oh, yes, a sociopath would do that if it were, was in their advantage. So the term sociopath and psychopath used to have somewhat different connotations. Now they largely clinically mean the same thing. These are people who do know the difference between right and wrong. They simply don't care, which is very different from someone who can't realize what they're doing is wrong. They have no empathy. They have no empathy. So often they will do very generous things when it serves their interests. So Bernie Madoff was a very likable guy as long as life was going well for him. Right. But it's sort of the narcissistic thing, too. Is it, is it, this is beyond narcissism. It's, it's, it's right? related but somewhat different. Narcissistic people have no perception of how they're perceived and are often very self-interested, but there are limits in what they would do. Just because you're narcissistic doesn't mean you'd kill a stranger. Antisocial people, often who don't come across as terribly narcissistic, would kill a stranger for their own benefit. And I add there are different kinds of killing a stranger. Many of us could conceive of situations, horrific that they might be, where we might kill a stranger in self-defense. Some of us could conceive of being born in a very different environment and in being engaged in the petty drug trade and killing our drug dealer. It's much harder for any of us, unless you're a sociopath, to conceive of killing your grandmother for the insurance money. Right. Wow, this, I, I can't wait to read this. Jake, Jake gave me a copy of the book yesterday, and I'm looking forward to reading it. And I, I'm so glad that you came down to the festival this year, and it was a delight to meet you, and, and great talking with, with you. And I understand you're going to be leaving this early today. Yeah, I'm going to try to escape before the hurricane gets yeah, here. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So, Jacob, thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And this is Patricia from RightTimes.org, unscripted in that direction. And thank you very much. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye-bye.